Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Science Math 451, Numerical Computation. Uh, my name is Wen Shen, I will be the instructor for this course. So for today's short video, we'll give a very brief introduction. So um, what are numerical methods? Um, we would say um, these are algorithms that would compute approximations to things that you want to find, for example, um, to some functions, and maybe you want to differentiate the function or integrate, and also um, you want to solve some equations which are very hard to find analytic solutions, so you will go with numerical methods to find some approximate solutions. Okay. And um, if an algorithm shall be designed for this purpose, then it shall be able to be implemented. That means we shall be able to write a program on a computer. Now, um, this is kind of a, a overview, a kind of a big picture, and to show um, how this little piece we're going to learn in this course on numerical computation, how does it fit into a bigger picture of a scientific research. So, and say we have some physical model, some physical model you're studying, for example, you could be measuring the temperature of a cooling body or the movement of an object after you apply force to it. So, after understanding the physical principle that guides your model and you would derive a mathematical model. And then very often this could be some equation or maybe differential equation that will describe the physical phenomena. And of course some problems you can solve exact which you would find analytic solution but when that is hard and then very often you will go through numerical methods and just find approximate solutions. So in this part, solving the model, mathematical model with numerical methods, um, there are two parts that go in, the two main part. One is a some mathematical theory that um, you would need to help you to design a method. And in there, you will need to do some analysis, and they are called numerical analysis. Okay. So once you have an algorithm, you need to go to a computer and you want to write a program for it. Okay, So this is called the computer programming part. And hopefully the program runs and you get some result and you get your data and you want to see what happens in the solution. So that is the presentation of your result. And this is usually done by some kind of a visualization. You either plot the graph of your solution, or maybe you can run some animation and see the movement of an object. Okay. So at this stage, you could go back to the physical model and maybe do some physical experiment. And you could use that data collected by measurement there to verify the result you get with your numerical method to see if this result here actually explains the physical model. And maybe after looking at the result, you say, I, I forgot something, um, one aspect I neglected in my model, maybe that's why my result is not so good. So I might go back to the physical model and take that aspect into consideration and design a new mathematical model. And you can iterate until you get a satisfactory result. So it might seem like um, numerical methods in, in practice, we are all dealing with numbers, we're adding them, we're computing a number as the answer. But I want to stress that numerical methods are not about numbers. It is about mathematical ideas and the insight you have for your problem. So keep that in mind, and we will try to learn some ideas, core ideas, simple ones, 
and see a small, core, smart idea goes a long way into solving some seemingly complicated problems. Okay, so um, basically, we will be dealing with um, three types of problems. So we will learn how to develop algorithms once they are designed, and then we will learn the implementation, and we'll go to a computer and actually learn how to write code. And we'll also do um, a little bit of analysis, and basically these will be analysis of errors of your approximation method. Okay, so some error analysis, and also if the error goes to zero, your method converges, so some convergency theorem and a little bit on stability. Stability means stability of your method with respect to perturbation. Okay, so for the programming part, we'll be using MATLAB throughout the course, so some tutorials will be made for that. Well, I hope this gives you some kind of very brief overview, and then um, let's get started.